But how do we get away from that? Do we? Do you even think that walking in the line of the institution is worth it? Do you think? I mean, I definitely side with direct action and more radical action. Prefer it. But if it's gonna be stopped by like, was it COINTELPRO or? Yeah, COINTELPRO yeah. has done that. If they're but, it's gonna be infiltrated. I mean, I don't know. You know, how do we? Well, if the movement could become stronger and much larger. I mean, they could actually fight COINTELPRO, but the movement now is weak. weak. Uh, and when you think of, you know, there's all of these, the best lawyers, because they're progressive, they're losing their job. In Mississippi, the best would be Chokwe Lumumba, but, I mean, I mean, he wants to work in Mississippi because he's black, and Mississippi is very, very, you know, I mean, the numbers there are black people who are poor, and they need a good lawyer. They won't let him, uh, the state of Mississippi has made it impossible for him to work in Mississippi. I don't know, they've... Um, they probably made a new law that he is probably considered anti-American now, so he can't. And he's back in his own hometown in Michigan. But, mm -hmm. you know, when you think of the things that this country has done, every war that this country went into, she went with a lie. You know, Vietnam. I mean, they said that an American ship was uh, shot at in the Bay of Tonkin. That never happened. But U.S. wanted to go in because U.S. also thought if Vietnam becomes communist, they were that all the other countries next to them would become communist. I mean, and so then, you know, U.S. went to war against all those countries. But Yet, Vietnam won the war. As poor as Vietnam is, they threw the Americans out. But, I mean, America now, if you look at them, their um, military is everywhere. It's, oh my gosh, like the whole Middle East, Americans have their military. And of course, in the Middle East, the Europeans are with them. And the same way, you know, all those names, Kazakhstan and Tajikistan, you know, all those something stands in near what used to be Soviet Union. They're, they have American military, so it's just, I don't know. You know, you used to teach Sunday, you used to teach Sunday school, right? Yeah. Ah. Oh. At a Presbyterian church. Oh, okay. What grade did you teach? What? What grade did you teach? The kids were junior high school. Oh, junior high They were about 13, 14. Uh, well, I used to work with kids a lot, but the parents got worried that to have a Japanese teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm American, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, well, during the war period, of course, very few Japanese were <laughs> considered desirable mm -hmm. then, you know. It was not just racist, but the, mm -hmm. well, you can't blame them. I mean, 3,000 of Oh, American wow. sailors hmm. were killed when Pearl Harbor was bombed. Yeah. Although now it, you could read in history books that America was hoping some territory of America, something would be would happen like a bombing, mm -hmm. so that they could start the war. It wasn't particularly. <clears throat> just a war 
against Japan, there were two things that were happening. People didn't know that at the time that America was building a atom bomb, mm -hmm. and no one had seen an atom bomb go off. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing was that then they felt U.S. The U.S. was not in the war at the beginning. The European countries were, but U.S. wanted to make sure that she could take over certain areas like the Western Hemisphere and all, that America felt she had to go to war. Mm -hmm. And so, in a way, though she lost 3,000 sailors, it helped her mm -hmm. get into the war. I mean, it's really... Like 9-11. Yeah. 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 That 9-11. They wanted that. Yeah. And I don't think we'll ever know the truth. Mm. You know, the whole truth. Just like, I don't think we'll ever know why Kennedy was killed. Yeah. You know, why? He, he was the president then, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. yes. And that they would kill him. And then to think that, hey, in America, when we were small, we never dreamed of people be, being assassinated. But then look at after Kennedy, then mm -hmm. Martin Luther King mm -hmm. was killed, yeah. and Malcolm was killed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just... Oh. There's this underpendant, underground documentary floating around on the internet. Do you have an internet connection? If you have a chance to get to the internet. There's this documentary called Loose Change, and it's about the underground story of 9-11. And really? They say that there's so much forensic evidence to prove that the U.S. did it. Yes. So if oh, you can, I've heard that. you should really try to watch it. And basically, they say if you take a look at all the evidence that was found, that they found military, U.S. military parts of bomb wreckage, because the only two buildings that have ever fallen down because of a structural fire mm. was the Twin Towers. It's never happened before. The way mm. that fell, if you take right. a look, it looks like a demolition. Yeah. Like right. there was a bombing or a dynamite. There's no way it could have been a structural fire. No way. There's so much evidence to show that the U.S. did it. Um, so, you know, take a look and see for yourself and see what oh, you think. Oh, yeah. It's very, uh -huh. it's pretty, pretty crazy. And uh, a writer from San Francisco, what's his name? Don Paul, he wrote something like that, and I can't remember the name of his book, but, uh, well, another one of the terrible things, I think, that all of those people, mostly blacks, it, you know, when the Katrina um, hit oh, so New Orleans, sad. you know, all of those people should not have been killed. No. Uh, I mean, it just shows... Me Terrible. What they think of blacks, as mm. if they're... And you know, <clears throat> the, the people don't even realize there was about 4,000 Vietnamese shrimpers that were killed or disappeared. Oh, right, yeah. and there hasn't been much You know, did it. you read Michael Eric Dyson's book? What? The Eller, Michael Eric Dyson, Black um, Progressive Preacher. You know who he is? He's pretty... No, cool. I've heard that name. I didn't know he was a preacher. Yeah. I know he was a writer. He's amazing. He wrote a book called Hurricane Katrina, The Color of Disaster, and it's all mm. about the politics of the communities of color and how the media portrayed it mm -hmm. and, and just all about it. It's very good. And oh, he, he, yeah, he's written a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 